Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. But when goalkeepers are kind of vying for number one spot, is it spoken about between the Duke Ollies? I.e., would they go, who do you think he's going to start with, mate? Is that a conversation that occurs? A little bit, a yeah. little bit. But um, that's for that was like for Shea to lead, you know, being the senior sure. man. Yeah, nice, yeah. Um, you know, I was never, I was always kind of knew my place and know my place. So that was that was Shea's role, as it probably would say there was a young goalie coming now who was in the similar situation. I know that goalies being how they are, I'd probably have to lead that conversation. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be happy, come, you know, if someone's better than me or someone needs to play ahead of me, then I, I'm not putting it on that person. It's, if you've got anything, you've got to have the, you got to speak to the manager. And if you want to have a problem with someone, you've got to go at the top. Um, so yeah, but Shea kind of led it and we and we kind of laughed and joked about it, but we also worked damn hard and both wanted it to be us, but football's football's mad, man. You just need to get on with things. And, damn right you do as yeah, well. And, and it's not everything's set up for you to just move in one direction. You need to be prepared to go here, to go there, to come here, to yeah. maybe come back. I must admit that I would like my managers to just pull us like, I don't know, maybe a few days before and go, listen, this is how it is. I'd much rather, honestly, I would. I'd much rather be on it, open and honest and but just that's go, what we all this want. is the reason. That's Sweet why I'll never that. be a goalkeeper, mate. Because yeah. everyone says, oh, when I'm a manager, I'm going to do that. And no one ever does it. No, they because don't. Because they're protecting themselves. You know, they'll have their reasons. They're not doing it to spite you. They'll be there reason uh, is somewhere in the chess game that they can't do it and ugh. 347 Football. Man City appearances mate Jesus that's not bad years. that you know 12 years it's a long time isn't it yeah I'd say yeah I'd say three or three or four of them spent on loan but yeah it's a good slog that um, got to ask you about the loan actually we were talking about it just briefly got to ask you about the loan in Torino so he went in 16-17 mm. season and obviously a few English players have been a, abroad, but how was the experience for you? And was it was it an easy decision? Awesome. It was a, that was a wild part of my life. I was just I was kind of well established at City, well established with England. Managers changed, you know. Obviously, we all know. Well, we don't all know, but Pep came in. I wasn't his goalkeeper. I'm two years into a five year deal, a strong deal that someone can't just yeah rip up. Uh, I'm technically an asset at the club, so they can't just give me away, even though they didn't need me anymore. Um, so it was, it was a bit of a mess. So <clears throat> obviously I'm trying to, you know, it's fine, it's whatever. If that's football, I, I love Man City. My love for them will never change, but I love the club. Um, you know, if the team changes and the moments change, then I need to change. And if the most important guy there doesn't want me, then I need to go somewhere else. So anyway, try, tried to move here. It was right at the end of the transfer window, so it was busy where people have made decisions on goalkeepers. Uh, so th can this work? No. Can that work? No. All right, this is working. Yeah, but they won't pay this or they're being charged this. They haven't got that in the budget. A lot of factors come into it at yeah, that mental. point. Don't Goalkeeping is so mental. Oh. It's, like a ha it's like a house of cards, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's such a jigsaw. Once it gets going, it, it will get it? going, but it needs something to get going first uh, for it to happen. I, but it already got going. It already happened. Yeah. Uh, so... Anyway, I was away with England, Big Sam's first first England camp, and he, and he still picked me, even though I hadn't started the first two games. It was obvious that I had to go somewhere. And it was like right at the end of August, and then this kind of Torino thing came up. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how, you know, they're not a, they're not a, uh, you know, they're not a big money, powerful yeah, in yeah, Italy. Yeah. They were seventh, eighth in the league. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the, behind the scenes, they'd made it work. And like Foz said, I, I just wanted to play. I didn't want to be involved in the whole, chaos and if they, if they were going to let me go there then I was like hell yeah let's go there like why not <laughs> if that's my only opportunity then you know load me up we're going uh, and I absolutely loved it it was an amazing place amazing city I went there in the recent international break made some good friends um, wicked football club huge lot of soul lot of heart heart of the city and um, I loved it loved trying to learn the language um, pick much Italian up no mate <laughs> so I've gone there at 29, <laughs> having probably put the brakes on my uh, learning from about 14, 15, when things started <laughs> to find their path. So to try and learn something again, like I was all up for it. I was like, I'm lessons, you know, I respect the culture. I, I, I want to go for it. I'd love to walk out of here. And I just, and I tried really hard, but poor, it was hard to learn things. <laughs> mm. It's so hard to learn. <laughs> and they used to, like the lads used to buzz off me just... Uh, pulling out my tiny bit of Italian and 
in the butt. Yeah, it was good. Those swear words. You just know all the swear words. Yeah. What do you need, what? mate? I want to talk about Nuno Espirito Santo when he took over at Spurs, right? Yeah. Um, I've listened to a podcast you said, um, and you said in it, basically, that when he he kind of, he had made his mind up, he, you weren't for him. And mm -hmm. that's fine. People do make their mind up. Agreed. But the reasoning for what his reasons why he didn't want you to be around anymore, I'll, I've got them here. Let me just read them out quickly. Um this is what he said. In my opinion, we all reach a point in our career where the body won't allow you to play football. We're at it now, Joe. I would not feel comfortable with you playing one minute for me. The ball's too quick for you. You're too old. You're not moving. You've got no strength in your body. Fuck off. What on earth, mate? Yeah, there were, there were some... You're 34 years old at this point? 34, yeah. My God, I'm not having it, mate. I'm sorry. I oh, know, I know. It was, it was mad, mate. It, but... Spurs were at a point where they really needed to do, they needed to have those, not those conversations, but they need to move people on. They need to be honest. They needed to, you know, someone they didn't feel, because they'd already brought um, Galini in from Atalanta. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he Atalanta. was on loan, weren't yeah, he? Yeah. Yeah. So they, they'd already made that yeah. decision. And I was like, look, do I need to have a conversation here? Because I heard he'd signed. And that was when we had the conversation. Um, yeah. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't agree. It was really hard and strange to hear. And then I thought, hang on, am I kidding myself? Because this guy's, you know, he's been a decent manager. Yeah. Has, has he seen something? He's also been a goalkeeper. A goalkeeper as Apparently. well. That's what I mean. Apparently yeah. he was a goalkeeper. Um, and I was like, you know, I, you know, the insecurity of me, of everyone was like, and then I was like, nah, that's wrong. Absolutely wrong. You can tell me you don't like me for this reason or technically you can tell me yeah, you don't like yeah, me. Yeah. But all those reasons you've given me are probably the... Yeah, the last thing I'd think of. Are the things that yeah. I kind of have got in my locker. Yeah. No, even when I'm crap at being in goal, I've still got them in my yeah, locker. Yeah. Um, like football's mad, isn't it? Some mad stuff happens. <laughs> it's like you said earlier on, though. It's like that chess. Yeah. With the goal. It's like that chess game, isn't yeah, it? And it was yeah. obviously that was his way of... Yeah, that was his way <sighs> of handling it. Maybe he thought, you know, maybe... Maybe two or three other guys had the, a similar conversation where that he was just he just went in on them, um, but I'd never had that conversation, and I, I, I just didn't it just didn't feel right, especially as a guy like I'm a pretty um, pretty open to a conversation. I'm pretty open to being told that I'm not someone's cup of tea, mm. that they think they can do better than me. Like I'm, I'm, I've always made it clear that I'm that's fine. You know that happens, and people have opinions, and people like goalies more than like other goalies and if that if I fall into that bracket then it doesn't need to be awkward it certainly doesn't need to be like that um but like I say like football is class in it you can I'd it, say mate I'd say what you've just done at the <coughs> for the last two years up at Celtic mate has probably put to paid any kind of doubts of any of that kind of stuff that was said from him anyway so um I don't agree with any of it mate I really don't I just think if you're if you're going to tell somebody that they're not for you then you do it but you don't you don't come down to reasons that are just pure made up mm. lies basically so I'll say that for you mate I'm not having it anyway Jose Mourinho talk to me about Jose good guy yeah I knew um you know Covid was a strange time for everyone wasn't it and I was out of contract at Burnley um and I was in the abyss of I didn't have a contract for the first time in my life yeah and I was having a few conversations and my agent was like, you know, and the one slot, I was like, I'll go anywhere. You know, I'll, if, if I need to travel, I'm still, I'm still, I'm ready to travel. I'm ready, ready to play. And it just, there just wasn't anything available. And, and I kind of found myself in, in that, excuse me, in the market where people didn't really want me. Yeah. That's, you know, like <laughs> I say, that's fine. People didn't want me. They, they didn't see me as an opportunity. Um, and he was like, you know, if you want to, if you want to speak to Jose, he's really interested. But obviously, you know the role that he's offering. I was like, I can't speak to Jose because I know from the small encounters that I've had with him that if I speak to him, it's done. I want, I want to go. <laughs> It'll hook you in. Yeah, hundred percent. I knew there's no way that I was, there's no way that you could go to him or the conversation. I knew that we were going to have where I could go. All right, okay, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. Yeah. The only, t if I spoke to him, I was done. Like he's, <laughs> he's so charming. He's he so really? charismatic. He's amazing. And. uh so yeah, worked on a few other things and then it just felt like the right time. Sat down with the people closest to me and said, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to speak to him. And if I go, I want everyone to hear me say these words. Worst case situation means I do not play a game of football for two years. Never. And so I want you to hear me saying that and I want you to hear, hear me saying I'm okay with that. Because yeah. I, ha I have to be, yeah, I think in that situation, you have to be okay with the worst. Yeah. There's nothing worse than two months in, I'm going home and going, Fucking hell, Hugo's playing in the FA Cup. Yeah. They've not picked me. It's, yeah. it's, it's, what it is, is realistic. 
It's yeah. probably not fully honest because deep down you're going, no, I want to play. I, a sniff, yeah. You've always got to have it in the back of your head. No, man, I, I will show everybody what I can do. You always want to do that, but you have to be realistic sometimes as well, yeah. don't you? Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.